of talking closure according to the shona culture cheese are buried in caves okay so it is believed that there is a natural tunnel here where the kings were buried since people here at great zimbabwe had plenty of gold it is believed that they were buried with their gold mm, just mm -hmm. like at mapungubu they were buried with their wealth like great zimbabwe is the predecessor to mapungubu yes absolutely so there is a natural tunnel. So it is said that there were men who entered inside. They wanted to see what it was like inside. Yes. But they never returned back. There, what was never returned back? The men who entered in, in this cave, in this natural tunnel. When was this? Uh, I'm not sure about this. A long days. time ago. Yes. Okay. So they wanted to see what was inside, but they never returned back. If you yeah. want gold, maybe you can get inside, but I won't accompany you because I still want my life. <laughs> oh, so the tunnel, there's still a way. You open the rocks? Yes. Uh, and then? There's a way down there. Oh, there's a way. So from here, we are now, uh, we'll get to the water gate path, which was used by girls to bring water up here. And some say uh, only virgins were the ones who brought water up here. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> then we'll also get to the modern path which was established in 1937 when Grace Babo was declared a national monument. Is this a monolith? Yes. All right. And why is it here? Do you know? Is it because of the path to the yes. grave, a royal so grave? people would see that there was something there. All right. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Okay. So this is the modern part. No, we have oh, not yet. Part. This is still the ancient part. Okay. Put. I came yesterday, basically, yeah, so I decided to take advantage of this, I was in Bulawayo actually, I drove this morning, yeah, so, where is that? Ah, no, okay, You'll tell me more about that. What is so we're still on the ancient path, right? Mm. So the water was brought up this way. Yes. This so way all the way up. Using this way. From down there you want to get high. So oh. when the Europeans came here, they wanted to establish a golf course. Oh. So they planted some eucalypt tanks. Since they drain water, there was a stream. Meaning uh, something like a little girl. Okay. So the stream dried up and there's nothing to see now. But I heard that he took care of the other part of the grave and most of the that way it took sense to. Okay. So that's where they, is that where they got the water from? Actually, they would get water from the Chiscana stream, which was near, and also from that um, Tiriki River. There are also some streams on the other side. All right. 
So where is our next destination? So the, the modern path begins here. Yeah, so I'm not on the modern path. I'm not on the modern path actually. Alright, so this is where the ancient and the modern meet. Yes, and that's the one I get part. Alright. How come the ancient one looks better? Alright, so where are we going next? So from now, we are going to the Shona village, the Kalanga village. The Kalanga village? Yes. Alright. Where there are some souvenirs which are sold there. Okay. And also, there is also a traditional healer and some traditional dancers. Oh, interesting. Looking yeah, forward to that. Them. Then if you have any token of appreciation, there is a plate in yeah. front of them. You can put it in there. Okay, so we shall meet there, guys.